Alrighty, they're going in. So, this matchup is interesting, and one I haven't seen. I'm gonna wait for them to put, uh, is it working? Yeah, they're just diddling. They're diddling? Yep. Fatty's just actually in one of their seats, and they can't start yet. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, this is gonna be, I I'm waiting. I I'm waiting for them to walk in before I say anything. Please. Uh, hey, look, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> That's those reads, dude. I want to say something, but he needs to hit start first. This is this is painful. I got the hot knowledge, and I can't drop it. <gasps> <laughs> Pick damn sage. Oh, dude, even better. Okay. You good? All right. So uh, now, Chef has been saying how he's really hoping that SBS goes clan uh, <laughs> because he really? really wants to fight the clan as opposed to the uh, uh he feels like he's confident in the matchup and he wants to show that confidence off. So I'm really glad SBS started with it because I want to see how uh, how the frog man handles the cat girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, um, I'm i pretty sure Chef has told me himself that he thinks Claren wins. Or I don't think. He didn't say thinks, but I, like he believes so. <laughs> he didn't um, say thinks. He wins. It's impossible. Yeah. But, um... <gasps> Chef is on fire tonight. He's doing. So I can't good. deny that. Today is today is his night out. It is his night. Yeah. Freaking Chef's day off, man. Yeah, dude. I mean, my theory is still holding some solid water. Uh, I'm convinced that him and Blue are actually just Namekians when they fused <laughs> to gain more power. <laughs> and apparently yep. that turns him into a frog. Has yep. that ruined a raster? <laughs> Blue never left. <laughs> it was a uh. conspiracy. That was actually a really sick recovery, too. The, the really unfortunate thing about that. It was really good. You know what? There's something that just happened that I really liked seeing. Mm -hmm. um, Chef just SD'd, but he, like, smiled. he laughed about it. And he's just like, all right, let's get back so into this. Good. And, and it, look at the percent SDS. right now. Don't want to, you don't, we don't usually laugh and brush off the death of SBS when you're ahead. But he did. Exactly what he right. to do. I told him He's like to you need to like yeah before anything you need to just keep that good mindset and I even told him myself when I do something stupid or my opponent styles on me I just like laugh yeah because like I mean dude sometimes all you need is a little bit of laughter right? yeah and he took like a full stock right there and he's still yeah he has strong. a full stock lead like he this dude is making a. SPS, your clan is not as good as your friend. Uh, you need to make sure you know. <laughs> That's yeah. what he's doing, right? And mm -hmm. I know this clan can be terrifying if he takes control, but Chef's not letting him get control. Mm -hmm. He has this great movement, he has this great neutral, and uh, he's pushing the right button, man. Like, yeah. I don't know what else he can do. Mm -hmm. And SPS is just looking for a way in. Mm -hmm. And can I say, like, the, the combination of Chef's neutral game, his... Uh, punished game and his uh, read game, like his reads are so crazy tonight. Go like throwing out these smash decks in the most bizarre spots. He hit me with a lot of roll read like down smashes and shit yes. like that. And not just you, uh, Fatty too. Yeah. And I, it's crazy. But now we see where SBS really shines. SBS has three stages, man. There's the autopilot stage, there's the I guess I gotta play with the series stage, and then there's the I'm not going to pay attention to anything but rivals. I am rivals now. And we watched SBS go through all three of those stages that match and just settle on the last one. Um, really turned it up on that last talk. Almost brought it back. Yeah. But Chef said, mm, you gave me way too much of a lead, dude. You're not allowed to bring that all back. Yeah. And we're gonna sit clan, you know? He has a set to play with, so. Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, and this is a good way to learn what you can do. Yeah. Right? I think he might stay clearing even if Chef were to get a bracket reset, because he did the same for Blue last week. So. Let's go practice. And because what he wants to get this clearing, but he's flash the flash. Right. And if the clearing dies to Ivano, then he needs to know that. <laughs> right, exactly. And I, I feel like there's a little bit of that uh, freaking Super Saiyan blood in this man. He has to. <laughs> Only beat to an inch of his life every time so that he can just get a little bit better, you know? Yeah. And definitely putting yourself into a spot where it's hard to win is good. Mm -hmm. Not like gimping yourself, but trying to strengthen yourself because of that is awesome. Yeah. Speak on strength, man. <gasps> <laughs> that was awesome.
awesome. Chef is like, I always knew like, when Chef is playing clean, he's playing clean. Like, Chef for anyone in AZ who's already known Chef and you've had an opinion of him or whatever, I've if you're watching like him right now, amazing. just know there's gonna be more of this. Hopefully. If he, yeah. like, if he keeps this mindset, like, look at tonight. I mean, this should be a freaking insane confidence booster. He, I would consider him versus Fatty an upset. Yes, him um, versus he beat you, him me versus twice. Fatty. You again? Like, and now yeah. He's again. He's, he's off on his boost. Yeah. Admittedly, this is looking very SPS favorite, but he has a game on his This is just the yeah. start. And if this is just the start to what he can do, I can't wait to see him come out here. Yeah, for sure. Ascend. Ascended, uh, ascended chef. He's evolved from chef to gourmand. <laughs> to gourmand. And it's such yeah. a cool thing to say. Oh, I like the tongue option. I just try to stay away from the uh, player. Mm -hmm. Chef's inspiring me. Gotta pick up this sick Lana to fight Clan. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing so good. Like this isn't this isn't necessarily a decent matchup too. Did you see that? Charged that forward strong. He knew. He knew. I don't know how he knew, but he knew. But it's okay. SBS is uh, retaliating. He's firing shots back and saying, "You're doing pretty good today, man." But uh, don't get ahead of yourself. I'm still your opponent. Don't forget who I am. But oh, Chef not slouching one bit. Yeah, he's not back like down well too. He's playing the same way ahead of behind. Mm -hmm. One of the big signs of such a good player is you need to play at your peak regardless. Because you can always bring it back. For sure. The parry? I kind of wish he used the invulnerable to do something with it. Because mm -hmm. he's parrying that first one, he's not like going to get punished. Mm -hmm. I love this movement. Oh, that's so smart. I see what he's doing. He's like, I'm going over there. You have a freaking lightsaber, dude. <laughs> the SPS really slowing it down. Says he's a stock lead. Don't need to approach. I think mean, he knows it can, it can all be gone. <laughs> That Man. move, ladies and germs. <laughs> <laughs> Good to say that move, ladies and germs. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Nothing better to cut the tension. <laughs> tension so thick, you can cut it with Claren's lightsaber, man. Like... Oh man, that's but I was gonna say uh, that side B from air to ground is really safe. Um, mm. It's actually less vulnerable than it might look, mm -hmm. because like you can parry pretty quick out of it. And oh man, I saw you like buckle up. Hello. Or like you know, it, it's weird. She's not vulnerable when she first appears. So there's a little bit of time when she's like seeming like visible but not vulnerable. Yeah. Maybe she's like, still fading or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and then. Pretty soon after you can parry, so there's actually not as big of a window as it might look. Mm -hmm. So you'll go in expecting like, a good punish on it, but not really. You'll know, yeah. get it on that. There's still it, a window, but. Mm -hmm. It is a really, it's really true. tight window, though, yeah. But, alright, going to. Okay. Going to Frozen Fortress. Um, yeah, one of Chef's favorite stages, definitely. And um, the way he's playing it, like, it's. He's playing it really, really well with Rano. Because um, he, like, I noticed when I played oh. him, he gets a stock lead. Like, he takes the first stock, gets some needles, gets, like, one small conversion, then plays lame. And that's exactly, exactly how you have saying, to yeah. play Rano. Get like, some damage, make sure they're not, they understand neutral still happening. Mm -hmm. And then say, but I have a lead. You have mm -hmm. to do the work, not me. That'll do. I'm so scary. Tech in place, tech roll in, tech roll out. May have been safe. That was his best option. Yeah. But it covered everything else, so. I think Tekken Place probably would have been okay. I think, well, only because, like, he probably missed the normal window if he hit it. But, um, I think he could have gotten tipped with Tekken Place. I don't know. It's well, weird. I mean, it, it's weird to say. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was scary, dude. Mm -hmm. Super jump, fastballs in there. That mare is so good. I love that mare. Yeah, definitely. Chef, just like hearing me say it, like, yes, yeah, save, dude. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh. It's a parry. Okay. Ooh. 
Nice. Hits him with that tongue. Uh oh. Man, his plot drop aerials are like looking really clean today too. Or everything about his kit is looking so good today. <gasps> we have a stock. We have barely a stock at all for five. God, SPS hit. What what are they? Say it one more time, Zoe. What what are they? An even game. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you said the first time. <laughs> That oh my was gosh. awkward, but okay. The tongue's like going through the bottom. I yeah. like where it started. Mm. Oh, this could be Harry's. really good for conversion. That's Harry. Dude, do you like the wave dash into that up tilt too? Just make sure you connect to it. And not gonna be up. Oh! <laughs> it's so good! Watching this man's movement, just his punish, his combos. God, Chef. Like Holy reminding me cow. about everything I love in Rivals, dude. Dude, Chef's my role model. When I grow up one day, I want to be Chef. <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, he's doing so good this game. Uh, but that being said, SBS playing. He's, he's SBS. Like he's, he's not scared. I've smashed. All right. That down air sets up really nicely for a ton of different options. Mm -hmm. uh, the raw smash is going to take it there. All right, we have a 2-1 lead. Not possible to cover from. Oh, man. Wow, what a yawn. Oh, I never agree with the run back, dude. I never agree with it. It's, it's not bad. I see people win on it. There's something to it, though. No. But, like, I just I don't agree. I think it wasn't bad for sure. Mm -hmm. But I don't think, I don't know. I feel like it lets your opponent be too comfortable. It always depends. Um... I mean, we don't know what's going through their Very heads. Very true, right? Um, you could SPS be like, God, I hate that save. I'm bottom off right now. Yeah. There may have been, like, just, like, little things where just maybe going through his head and saying, like, man, I missed this, like, so many times. This match I just played terrible. I know it can play much better. And just, like, situations like that. That like, right I there is a scary issue, though. Um, it, it's, it's part of what they call the scrub with Tommy, right? Where if you make a mistake on something, you immediately want to repeat it again until you get it right. Uh, mid yeah. set. And that's something scary because then your opponent knows what you're trying to go for every time. Uh, it, it's not a th it's exact science, yeah. But it's definitely something to letting your opponent know that you're going to have a very similar approach in the last game by going to the same stage. On yeah. the other end, you could go to the stage and say, okay, I'm going to play totally different because I think I was just playing. Mm -hmm. And that could just mess with your opponent too. So there's something to both ways. Yeah. But I don't like you like to run it back uh, to the neutral stage. And play the what was that? <laughs> Gives us a little. <laughs> um, oh, I love that nair. Ooh, I like the double up tilt there. Little scoops. Mm. Like he's using so much of Bono's kit, but I never get to see uh, flush out. He's yeah, he's using. Um, Good dodge. He's definitely not. Um, not like avoiding any move really in his kid or anything like he's saying like all right this is supposed to happen now and this is this can happen now and just like he's not like sticking with a few moves being like okay like nair fair like a really good moves with Rana. let me just this do weird. this <laughs> like that was a really weird bit of neutral there neither one of them wanted to go with, oh yeah fuck that dude she has a lightsaber he's like oh fuck that dude that's a frog that's a poisonous dude <laughs> it's a poison dart frog man. it's actually scary yeah Sharon knows all about that it's not okay yeah. What if Rano had contact damage? <laughs> oh no. Blue, is it true? Now, I need it in your words. Is it true that you fused with Chef because of your three month absence to give him more power like a Namekian? I need to, I need to confirm. I need you to either confirm or deny this. Blue's about to be like, what LML? <laughs> what LML? And that will be a confirmation. Yep. If there's an LOL, LMAO, LMFAO, any of those. Raffle? Yep. Take that too. Uh, then I'll take that as confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> and we're good. Yep. All right. So it is confirmed that <laughs> Blue actually just siphoned all of his power into a shop and said, hey, you know what? I'm not using it right now. <laughs> go, uh, go make some waves, kid. Mm -hmm. Definitely true. There we go. <laughs> Oh, that parry was so good. 
Oh, really good. <laughs> so my god, watch this dude's movement. Like, this yeah. dude's movement is butter. It's silkier than a goddamn. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he caught it's me like with that. Goddamn Lindor truffle! It's so silky. <laughs> he caught me with that a couple times too when we played. Um, I didn't die from it because Edelus, but like. Just that reversal. He got that same setup on me, the tongue in the back air. I'm just like, oh crap. I was on stage, now I'm off stage. Oh crap, now I'm in a bad position and just it's just Yeah, but good stuff. Really, really good conversion <sighs> right there. Dude, I I, I need like to curl up like a nice book or something. I'm 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 good for the night. I, I got I got my fill. Got enough excitement to last me the week, dude. Yep. That's why I come to these tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I see you sniveling! I get a nosebleed from how good that back air was. <laughs> Are you okay? You wanna go blow your nose real fast? Blood starts just coming out of each nostril. SPS passes out mid set. <laughs> Still finishes the set. <laughs> oh man. We are one game away from a bracket reset. Yep. I mean, you think we'll see the clone step? Because I could. Alrighty, going to. Nice. I'm so bad with stages, I don't know why. Ethereal but Gates. Ethereal Gates. You like this stage? I love this stage. This is my favorite <laughs> stage in the game. It's, a, it's a pretty good stage. Yeah. Why do you never take people to uh, Aramata? Depends on the matchup. Okay. The reason why I don't take Rano there, especially, I know it's doable. <laughs> um, obviously, I'd ban it if I thought it was a bad stage. Yes. But um, Rano can really camp the heck out of a lot of characters on that stage. Yeah, can. And Edelus can't do much about it. Even if, um, some background info, if, um, if Rano frog jumps on those high platforms and keeps dive kicking and throwing needles, Edelus can't hit icicles. <laughs> he tries, and like, like you can position yourself too, yes, but Rano's movement is just like that quick where you just can't. And he has, he has the frame data too to back it up. Yeah. And the threat, like if he touched you on that stage, super close side boss legs. Yeah. Oh. So, it's, yeah, it's a good um, stage for Edelus. I think it's a but in that oh. matchup in particular. Frick, dude, that was a quick two stops from us. Oh, yeah. Not over yet, though. It's not over till the Fat Frog sings. Or I guess Cat in this case. Ooh, good F smash, and that'll kill. Gonna take it. We have one more stock separating the two of these guys from an even game, and Chef is gonna run straight off that stage. Down air? Ooh. One of the second Goes grab. for another grab. A little bit, a little bit uh, greedy. I think it was a little low on percent, too. So he just didn't really want to... Uh, Go for like a down air to I guess. Yeah. Ah, God, his platform movement is just so freaking good. Uh, jumps through, wave lands back, plat drop bear, and hits someone level with you. It's so wild, man. Yeah, I just honestly I don't even know what to say. He's playing so incredibly well right now. And he has this tonight. That, he has that determination. Mm -hmm. He's okay with uh, with losing a stock or being too behind. He's okay with being a set behind. He wouldn't care. Living. And this is a really big match for Chef, man. If he can bring out this stock, he's one away. Ah. SPS, do. super duper solid. But really took control of that stage, but Chef, man. Phenomenal showing from Chef tonight. <laughs> really.